It's a mini me of the mini me. Guys, welcome back to the Dirtbag Outdoors YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning on in. Today is pretty exciting. I've got another 22 pistol to talk about. We're gonna get it on the range here in a minute, see how it shoots, talk about it a little bit more, recap the groupings. But uh, the other week, I think last week or so, I put out a video on the little Taurus PT-22, right? Really small, pocket-sized, you know, mouse gun kind of. You know, size comparison, just a reminder, this is a Taurus TX-22. The PT-22 is an absolute tiny pistol in comparison to the TX-22. But what I've got in this box here is even smaller than the Taurus PT-22. Check it out. Guys, this is my Astra Cub, chambered in 22 short. There's my hand for reference. Let's see what it looks like next to the Taurus. It's a mini me of the mini me. You know what I'm saying? It's absolutely tiny. These guns are really cool. They were made in the 50s up through, I wanna say the 80s. Don't quote me on that though. I'm not a firearms historian whatsoever. I just like them. I like to shoot them. I like to collect them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and talk about them. So anyways, like I said, this was made, I think this one might've been made in the 70s based on what I found, but I, I don't know for sure. That's, there's so much conflicting information on the internet. If someone knows about these and can date this for me, please let me know. But anyways, this is, uh, like I said, chambered in 22 short. They did make these in uh, 25 ACP as well. I'd like to get one to match it, but for now, I just got the 22 short. And what's really cool about these is the, is, is the size. These were kind of meant to be a, an old time, old school, actual you know vest pocket gun. And if you look, I can get one and a half fingers. It's very small. My index finger completely protrudes past the barrel, the muzzle. It's a tiny, tiny little gun. But these are well made. That's what's cool about them. They're not like a cheap, cheapo Home Depot, um, you know, piece of crap. These things are actually very well made. And speaking of very well made, you guys ever heard of the Colt Jr.? Well, the Colt Jr. is an Astro Cub. It's the same gun with Colt's name on it. So, little fun fact for you there. But uh, yeah, so basic operation, you've got your magazine released down here in the grip. They do not drop free. You have to kind of rip them out, which is fine. It is single action only. The trigger is not great, but it's not bad. Um, I've heard some people say theirs feels worse than mine. mine. Mine doesn't feel that bad. I don't know if it's had work on it in the past. It's not great or anything like that, but it definitely, it definitely isn't bad. I think that we should be able to do okay with it, provided, you know, considering we only have like a two inch barrel. Uh, the sights are crude, but they're there, and they're actually good enough to see, provided you have good daylight. They're, they're totally usable, especially for what this gun is. I really, really, really enjoy shooting this thing. I don't shoot it much because 22 short has been hard to find for quite some time. Uh, but anyways, back to the gun itself. You've got your safety lever right here. This gun does have a magazine disconnect safety, so you will not be able to fire it unless a magazine is inserted. So keep that in mind. The disassembly, I'm gonna show you that here in a second. It's super easy and it's very cool. Uh, the barrel, the barrel twists right out. Uh, you don't even need to take the slide off. The, the barrel comes out first, so that's kind of interesting. Stay tuned for that. And I'm gonna show you how to field strip this little guy. But uh, we're gonna get it out on the backyard range today. We're gonna to shoot some 22 short out of this bad boy. I've got some Winchester Super X high velocity 22 short, 29 grain. Um, I don't know what they shot it out of to get the FPS, but it was somewhere around a thousand according to the website. And then I've got some CCI 22 short CB. This is also 29 grain, but it's uh, 700 feet per second out of whatever they tested it with. It's, it's probably gonna be less out of this, I would assume it, it's a tiny little barrel. So they're not moving very fast. The CCI I'm assuming is gonna shoot better just because typically your subsonic slower velocity stuff is a little more accurate, but I don't know, we're gonna do it at seven yards. If I can't hit the freaking broadside of a barn at seven yards, we're gonna take it into five, four or five yards. Um, and I think that's kind of what this gun is more so meant for. Magazine capacity, it is six rounds. So it's a six plus one single stack of your 22 short. Uh, and yeah, guys, let's go ahead and do a quick field strip. I'll show you how to do that. And then we're gonna go take it out on the range, shoot a few groups of the Winchester and the CCI. Bring you on back inside. We're gonna look at the targets and talk about a little bit more, a little recap. Stay tuned. All right, guys, now that I got you zoomed on in here, I'm gonna show you how to field strip this little guy. This thing is so cool. 
obviously, first thing you're going to do is make sure it's unloaded. Remove the magazine. These do not drop free like modern guns. You kind of got to rip them out. All right, so we got our safety lever right here, right? You're going to lock the slide back via sliding the safety lever into the notch on the slide. All right, so now our slide's locked back with no magazine. Uh, what's cool about this, the barrel, the barrel is has locking lugs in it, and uh, you actually can just twist the barrel and kind of wiggle it out. You got to find the sweet spot. There you go. So the barrel just twists right out. Pretty cool feature, really. And then all we're going to do now is we're going to slowly let off the slide lever and bring the slide completely off of the frame. There's our frame. Recoil spring and guide rod. And then the slide itself. Reassembly is reversal. We're going to do, we're going to slide our guide rod in first. There's a hole in the frame, can't miss it. We're going to slide our slide on. Make sure the strings lined up. Lock it back. So now we have an assembled gun minus the barrel. The barrel goes in, rotates. If you're looking at the barrel, it would be counterclockwise to lock it back in. And guys, that's it. This gun does have a magazine disconnect safety. It will not fire without a magazine. So in order to release the hammer, I'm just going to go ahead and insert the magazine. Remove the safety. And let her down. Guys, that's it. That's super simple. It's really cool. This thing is super charming. I like it a lot. But yeah, that's it. Quick disassembly, quick field strip of the Astra Cub. Let's get back to the video. All right, guys, I got the Astra Cub out here loaded up with five rounds of CCI 22 short CB. Target about six yards away. I went ahead and put it at six instead of seven. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see what happens. We're going to compare that to the Winchester and hopefully we can hit something. Failure to eject, it's probably because it's CB. Probably gonna have to go single shot mode. All right, obviously that was a fail. It did not like the CCI CBs. Let's load up five of the Winchester and see what happens on that one. We'll get right back to it. All right, I got five rounds of the Winchester Super X high velocity. Let's see if this fares any better. It should, I mean, it's really no surprise that the, the CB didn't cycle, but I don't know, I had high hopes. It's hard to hold on to this gun, it's so small. I don't, I don't even really know what to do. All right, let's go take a look. Guys, look at this, look at this backyard. If any of you guys live in Ohio, like I do, I'm, I'm sorry, it, it sucks here. Let's walk down there and see. All 
All right, guys, let's get these targets back into the studio, get them measured, and let's do the recap, man. This is uh, exciting. It sucked the CCI CVs didn't work, but it's kind of to be expected. Noticeable volume difference with the Winchester. I don't know. Let's measure them, let's recap. All right, guys, just like that, we are back in the studio. I got you zoomed on in here a little bit, like last time, to go over the targets a little bit. How did the little guy, how'd the, how'd the little guy shoot? Well, if you paid attention, the CCI CB, the short CB stuff from CCI, uh, did not function. That's kind of to be expected. I didn't think it would. I've never actually shot it in that in this gun before. Uh, I just kind of wanted to know. CCI, I, I love their stuff. I shoot that CB short stuff in little bolt action rifles, and it's fun to plink. Super quiet stuff. Uh, enjoyable to shoot. You know, accurate as well. But um, obviously, it didn't function in the semi-auto platform. The Winchester functioned just fine. There was a huge massive volume difference in the two cartridges uh, as you could probably tell from the video but uh, anyways let's get right into the targets let's go ahead and start off with the cci um so on this target i shot five shot groups and there's four on this target the fifth one was in the, the target backer just off so i, I kind of guessed i added a, about um i don't know quarter inch half inch to the group size as kind of an estimate but anyways, there we go. We got a two and a half inch group at six yards out of the Astra Cub with the CB short stuff. Winchester Super X high velocity. There you go, guys. Three inch group with the Winchester. I think that's pretty good. Uh, the CCI shot better. I figured it would. It typically always does. Um, but yeah, so I was pretty, I'm pretty impressed. It's, it's not great, but for what the gun is, it's so small. It's almost, it's almost so small. It's kind of hard to, to hold. I, I don't even, I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm not sure what to do with my hands, you know, but it worked out. It operated fine with the high velocity stuff. It, like I said, it's, it's typically a pretty reliable gun. Um, any standard or high velocity ammo, it, it's been pretty much failure free. So anyways, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, please consider subscribing or giving the video a like. It helps me out a lot. Video is not sponsored by anyone, but I did release some new merch. You can find it down below underneath the video in the merch tray. If you want to help out the channel, rock some Dirtback Outdoors gear, I would love, I would absolutely love that. Forever grateful. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.